Hi guys, so today we are going to be making nail rings. I've been tagged a ton in this video on TikTok of this person making essentially like press on rings, rings that have some nails attached to them to just wear and take on and off. I thought that this was such a fun idea and it could be useful for so many people. I know that some people can't wear even nail polish for religious reasons or if you're in the food or medical field, some people just don't like the way nails feel. But sometimes you just want to add a little bit of, you know, like pizzazz on your hands for like a night out or whatever. So I thought that this would be a super fun thing to try. The person who posted this is error 404 reality not found and they did do a little tutorial and it looks pretty simple and believe it or not I actually didn't need to get anything for this video because I actually have quite a bit of jewelry making supplies so I'm good to go. I do feel like amongst my endless scrolling I've seen iterations of this type of thing before but I did just want to mention that the person who's posted this viral video they have been referring people to voodoo nail rings hopefully that is said correctly when they've been asked to sell all these rings. It looks like this person started making these a, a few months ago and selling them. So I did just want to mention that because I know that a lot of people in their comments had said, I don't want to make them, I want to buy them. So it looks like you can buy them from that person, which of course I will link, but I am a DIY type of person, so I am going to try to make them. So let's just get straight into it. Personally, I am a gold type of gal for my jewelry. Silver just like, I feel like doesn't look right on me. And Luckily, I have some gold wire. Look at this, jewelry making, exactly what I need. But listen, just because I have this doesn't mean I'm gonna be good at it, okay? I can't say I've ever like really made jewelry before. Okay, found the end. All right, let's just... Fine. So I'm gonna grab out my pliers, which I have a couple here, so have these, I have these, and I have these. While I don't know the specifics for what each of these ones are used, this one's used to cut the wire. I'm trying not to overcomplicate this because it's really just wrapping the wire around your finger. And I don't know how much wire I'll need, but I'm gonna cut, I feel like that much should be fine. Perfect. So first we make a small loop about the size of our finger. It looks about right-ish. This could be prettier, but I feel like that looks okay. And then we'll just wrap it around, right? Now I'm gonna just go with that these need to be pretty tight. And actually I have to go out later today anyway. So I figured I'll make a set or two and I will wear them out today and I'll take you guys with me. And we can kind of just like see how well they stay on because while I definitely think they'll just like stay on in a normal instance, I don't know if these are like, I can go grocery shopping type things household activities or like just really special wear type thing. So I wanna see because of course that is such a cute idea that I would love to be able to just like pop some nails on if I'm going out and I don't have any on. Okay, I think I'm gonna use something that's about the size of my finger-ish. Okay, this is about the size of my thumb to try to do this a bit tighter because it is very loose while I'm doing it on my finger. Okay, honestly, I didn't think that this wire would be so malleable. I thought it was gonna be a little bit harder to move around. All right, that looks good, I think-ish. Aside from the uh, sharp edge here, I think that looks okay-ish. Let's see. Okay, it looks all right, but it uh, definitely needs to be tighter. I thought it was really cute how they had this little loop part as part of the design, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get mine that pretty. I mean, it kind of stays. I'm like trying to fling it off and it's not going. Is this good? No, but I think it's an okay first try because it is staying, but I am going to take it off and let's try to do some other fingers. Here's how it looks um, kind of janky. Hopefully I'll get better at this. I think that this time I'm going to try to do it only around something first. And I think I need more wire actually. So first our little loop. Okay, I think that's okay-ish. I think this one will be fine. And I can hold it now. Oh no. If you pull on it too much, it makes that little part too small. Let me try to remake this a little bit bigger. Oh, ooh, okay, there we go. Look at that. 
Although I am definitely a danger to myself with these wire edges. Again, I'm not a jewelry person, so I don't know what exactly you normally do with this edge. Like, I don't know, maybe my wire cutters aren't like very good for this. Although this is probably too much wire, but that was just what they had showed initially and it is, oh my gosh, way too big. Maybe this will fit my other thumb. Yeah, this will fit this thumb way better than it'll fit any other finger for sure. So I have two thumbs made at least. I feel like that's good. Now just for eight more fingers. They also don't feel very sturdy. Let me see if I have other wire. Maybe it's the wire. Nope, only a silver wire, the same brand. Ooh, look, I have some other, this wire looks pretty good. This one might not work. It might be a bit too thick. It looks very strong. So it's a gold wire with copper core. It's 20 gauge, which is, and they give you a little something. Okay, maybe this will be a little bit more sturdy. It feels very sturdy. And I actually think that my husband got this to make something, I don't remember, but that was a while ago, so I'm stealing it. Maybe since this one's a bit more sturdy, I don't need like a ton of it. Maybe like that much. All right, a little loop again. Oh, this one's strong, okay. If I twist it, oh, look at that. Look at that. That means a little loop can't get smaller whenever I try to tighten it. Okay, I need to find something that has a small handle. Maybe this little protein bond because especially for like that part of my finger, I would say is fairly small. I guess I could do it opposite. I could do it this way. Okay, I don't know if this will fit though. Will it fit? No, it's too big still. I'm gonna just try to do it on my finger. This wire is definitely so much stronger. Oh, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Kind of. Okay, you know what? This actually feels very secure. It is fairly tight, but it's not like uncomfortable. I would probably get used to it. I don't think this will come off. It does feel good. Like it feels on there. It does feel substantially sturdier than the other wire, but I already know that these little things on the side are definitely a little bit of a hazard for me. I don't know how I do it, but I bump into things and scrape things all day long. It's a talent, let's say. But I feel like, you know what? It's on there pretty good. Much better than these ones. These ones I feel like just keep almost coming undone by themselves. I probably should maybe wrap it and I should actually go back and like twist this so that way it can't come undone anymore and then make it tighter, I think. That may be a little too tight. We don't wanna cut off my circulation. The gold wire is so much more malleable, but this copper, I'm just gonna say copper wire, cause it does look a little bit more copper than gold, like is so much sturdier. So I'm gonna just go with that for making all of them. All right, since I redid that, we have one down, nine to go. Let's do it again. Got our loop and then we'll do a twist. It didn't even occur to me that I could probably hold it on this side. It doesn't, I don't need to hold it on like the nail side. All right, let's try it. This one might be a little bit like too far down. This one isn't quite as nice, but that's okay. Yeah, that one fits a lot better. But nonetheless, I mean, they're they're going. All right, so we have two down. I'm not saying each one of these is gonna be like wrapped the prettiest. I feel like my skin is so annoying. It turns red and I'm doing literally anything. Now it's like, oh, you're wrapping rings? I don't think so. I think that wire was a little bit too long. I kind of have an idea for maybe making it a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner. So I'm gonna take a smaller piece of wire and instead of doing the loop in the center, I think I'm gonna try to do it like a little bit over. Okay, good start. So it'll be for this finger. There's this mainly just like this small piece for this one. Okay, have it kind of on there with the small piece. And then now I'm mainly going to rely on like the big piece to try to wrap. Finally got this one done. This one again, I feel like that first one with this wire I did was the best. Everything else is a little janky, but nonetheless, it's done. You know, I actually think that like in this little kit, there's like stuff to help with this type of thing. I remember I had this jewelry kit once for something and then I used something as a ring and people were like, that was not a ring. That's to something jewelry. And I was like, dang, might be. I think I, might be able to use this similarly, like shape it to the size I want or something like that. Or at least maybe put it over my nail a bit while I'm trying to do the wire. Something, something like that, right? Yeah, we'll stick with that. We almost actually have a full hand. It's not taking me too long either, only a couple hours. Just kidding, it's only been like an hour. 
That looks like a good size for this nail. I keep looking around trying to find something that has like a super small like round top, but so far like all of the tops on the bottles have been too big for where I'm trying to do it. If I'm doing like the bottom of my finger where rings normally go, not a problem, but for the top, they're just like too big. Maybe I'll try one of these bottles and I can kind of just do it at whatever length I want. Try it here. All right, before we close it up, let's see where we are size wise on that. Actually perfect. Yay, perfect. I am getting the hang of it a little bit. Okay, we just have one more to do for one hand. I'm gonna make two hands because like, why not? And then this one's gonna be for the thumbs. So I'll do a little bit bigger. I am gonna just make them all out of this one, not the ones that I was using earlier because those ones just too flimsy. But I feel like once you kind of get the hang of this and especially if you've ever, you know, worked with wire or jewelry before, I'm sure this is a breeze. I think what's helped the most with this honestly is really finding something that like you can shape the wire after and doing it almost all the way, but leaving like the last bit open so that you can adjust how tight it is. All right, look at that. I feel like making some moves with this. Let me make the other five and then we will make some press-ons for these. All right, I have all 10 done and on. Here is how they look. They feel pretty good, but it does feel a bit strange. I don't know if this is something that like I could get used to wearing. Although you do get the clickety clack that you usually get with nails with these. Some more than others feel like they kind of wanna like squeeze off. Like I have them, I would say just tight enough to where they're gonna stay on. If I'm moving, I can't fling them off. You know when like something's tied on something or wrapped around something and it's too tight, but like the other thing is squishy and it kind of just like slides off. Does that make sense? What am I going on about? But nonetheless, here they are. So now we have to make some press on nails and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm not gonna make anything too crazy because I don't know how well these nails will stay on the rings. In the video, they use the sticky strips that you normally would use for press-ons if you only wanted to wear them for like a day. So I'm going to do one set with the sticky tabs and then one set I'm going to glue them on to the rings. But regardless, I've lost nails off of my own fingers and not noticed before. So I'm not sure if I would notice if one of them fall off like immediately. So on that note, I'm going to do a more reasonable size nail for these. So I'll be using the 10XL square. Okay, I'm joking. I'm gonna use these. And I'm hoping that in terms of even decorating these, it will be easier since these are all on like one nice little strip. I'm going to use my airbrush today and I kind of just like want to like, shh, you know, like airbrush it all kind of at the same time. So let me prepare for the airbrush and we will get these on here. So I like how they had the wire sort of incorporated. I feel like at least that little loop looks the same on every single one of the nails that I did. So I do wanna keep that semi-transparent, starting off with a like shimmer gel. And that way it gives a little bit of something at the bottom, but we can still see the little loop. Do we even wanna see the loop? I don't know. So this is probably what's going to take the most time is just doing this really quick on these nails. All right, and then I'm gonna cure that. It is nice though that since these aren't going on like your actual nails that you can kind of make them like whatever size looks best. Like it doesn't have to be accurate. I'm just going to set up my airbrush really quick. Hopefully it's charged, otherwise we're gonna have to do something else. I've gotta go pick up dinner very soon. I have a friend coming over and we're gonna watch a season premiere the show together. And I was doing good on time today, but then some stuff happened, of course, as usual. That's, that's not how it always goes. Anyway, then I think I'm gonna use like a little bit of like a purple with a little bit of white and make like a lilac color because you know, purple. All right, and then so I'll do, the, I'll do some purple, probably just like two drops of that and some white. You didn't see that. Then we'll do some mixing. Okay, let's go. This is kind of loud, so I kind of have to cut the sound a bit for this, but that's actually not that loud, but still, it's not really something you wanna hear. So I'm gonna test it. Might take a sec. Okay, so I don't know if you guys heard that, but it kind of just stopped. 
So I think it might be dead and I wasn't able to get it working anyway. It was not, I repeat, not wanting to come out. I think it might be clogged. I'll have to clean it. I thought I cleaned it good last time. I've used it a couple times without issue. All right, well, plan two. I'm going to keep them clear, but we're going to do some stickers. Probably also use these ones because these are really pretty. Just do a wipe. I know this is like the least extra set of nails I've done in a long time, but I really wanna wear these out when I go out today. Those are such pretty flowers. I keep messing with my bangs. Can you guys tell that I cut them myself? I was like, I'm gonna give myself some like teeny micro bangs or just like little slivers of it. And I kind of like them and I kind of don't. I'm undecided. Oh no. I just went to go order from the restaurant I was gonna get food from and it's closed today. Okay, so now I'm just doing a quick top coat. Alrighty, some of these are janky, but it's fine. We're gonna just roll with it, but it's time to put them on finally. And my camera keeps dying, my face cam, so I'm sorry if I disappear. I don't know why. After a certain amount of time filming, it just shuts off. And this is my like third one of this camera. <laughs> this sucks getting a new one. So for five of them, we are going to just put them on first and foremost. And then you can just get these sticky tabs, but they do come with most press-on sets. Most, almost pretty much all of them, I would say. But let's try this. Okay, so I'm just, I'm gonna attach it to the wire. All right, face cam died. So I'm just going to stick that on. Hmm, feels weird. Feels a little strange, honestly. I am just going to nail glue these on. I am definitely not accidentally gluing my fingers in the process. Although I do think I can just like sit it on there a bit. and. Let it just do its thing. All right, so it is actually another day. I was really cutting it way too close and I could not get the nails to glue onto the rings. And my options were finish this and make everyone else late or just do it another day. So I chose to do it another day because I hate being that person. Because I was in a rush and it's obviously a new day, I have gone back and cleaned up the nails a bit because they were a bit messy. And I used E6000 to glue the nails this time. So hopefully they will stay on. The nail glue just popped right off. But aside from that, everything else is the same and I'm still going to test both of them. So let's go and do that. So I started using these sticky tabs to keep them on. And when I just went to leave, one fell off with just using the sticky tabs. So I don't think they're gonna hold for me anyway. Maybe some stronger like double-sided tape would be better. But since that didn't work, I grabbed out my plastic clay, whatever this is, I've had it forever. And I use this normally to hold nails on my nail stands while I work on them and it works really well. So I was like, maybe I'll use this to keep the nails adhered to the rings. And this didn't work super well either, but I felt like it was a little bit better. So I remembered, I have some of this stuff. And if you don't know what museum wax is, it's basically like a super strong, non-permanent wax that is like really thick and really sticky. And so I'm going to use this, like I'll show you how sticky it is. Put this on there. And like, like, ow. There we go. Very strong. So I'm hoping that this will keep everything on the nails. So pretty much the plan is a little gob of this and stick it on and hopefully should be all strong. I think that's gonna work best, honestly. These are the ones put on with the museum wax. So let's go. Okay, the first thing we're gonna go do and run some errands doing is going to Pet smart. Get my dog some stuff. Well, they definitely don't need this, but I'm getting it. We need some of this. Uh-oh. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Don't fall off. I feel like I haven't even done anything. Got my bag. Let's go into Target. I just want to, like, push them down and like, pop them off so bad. I feel like my fingers are getting a little red. I guess they, like, wouldn't have to be this tight, but if they're not this tight, they fall off. So I felt one coming off and so I went to grab it and I noticed I lost one. 
I have no idea when. I swear I just had it. I've been checking them every two seconds, but they just, I don't know, they're not staying. You guys, I have two of them. Listen, if you live around Nashville and you find these nails, mind your business, okay? That's so embarrassing. Okay. Oh, I found one. Okay, I have three, which means I've lost two. Where did they go? We'll try this again tomorrow with the glued ones, but it looks like the bust if you're gonna actually be doing things. Okay, so I have my ones that I glued with E6000 here that I'm gonna put on now. And while I do that, I wanna emphasize that I know that these are more of like a temporary thing and they don't necessarily have to hold up to like everyday wear. I just felt like it would be fun to test them and see. These are already feeling so much stronger than the other ones, which does kind of suck if you do want to change out the nails, but if it's more of like, I just want to be able to have nails sometimes for like a special occasion. I feel like having just like a nice little set that you can just pop on and off would be nice. So here we are. These already feel so much sturdier. Like I can actually do that and move and tap them. Nope. I do also think that it would be more comfortable with these if the wire was a little bit thinner, but not as thin as the first wire that I tried because that wire I felt like was like too malleable and this one is almost like not malleable enough. I feel like a good in-between one would be better, but nonetheless, let's go just do a couple things and see if I still have all five by the time I get home. <laughs> all right, first stop, UPS. Errand one down and let's go do another. Still on really well. I also adjusted them so that they're lower down on my finger and they're a lot more comfortable now. Update, I sent my photo order to the wrong Walgreens, so. That's great. Okay, let's try this again. Success, I had to pick up my passport pictures. I feel like it turned out all right. Maybe, kind of look mad. I'm so impressed with these now. I felt really sad when they didn't work yesterday, but I'm able to even like reach into my purse and stuff with these and they're fine. Okay, of course they don't have any black. Maybe I'll get brown. Last stop was grabbing David a coffee on my way home. So I'm back home now and I just wanted to talk about these a little bit now because obviously yesterday did not go as planned but i'm actually really impressed with how well these ones stay on i feel like the rings themselves stay on it was just having the nails stay on the rings but if you glue them on you're good i am not a very delicate person i would say so when i'm doing things i'm not like grabbing them lightly or being that careful usually but if you are then you can probably be totally fine with like the press-on version but these stayed on the whole day. I was probably out for a couple hours and they looked just fine. The only thing is I definitely should have like glued them on higher up because they kind of look like these are coming out of like this knuckle. They're way more comfortable lower down, which would be something if I made them again, I would do because if they're too high up, it like rubs on your cuticle weird. The only other thing is this might just be a me thing, but I feel like it's like low key cutting off the circulation on my fingers but they're not super tight actually i can just like take them off like no problem see but like they're still like leaving those big indentations and like kind of turning my fingers purple huh. but i can just easily slide them off so it's probably my jewelry making skills that's doing that and i'm sure if i had done the wire a lot better that wouldn't be happening but overall these are a super good idea i hope you guys enjoyed this video i definitely did not film a proper outro but thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you next time bye say bye per <laughs>